Welcome, replayers. We're going to be doing something really gentle today. I'm going to be making some patchwork. This is a, this. I've made an envelope. I'm using up scraps and I've lined it. I've made this an envelope, but you can see how this could be a journal ephemera or even a journal cover. I'll show you how I made it out of little scraps of paper. I've collected a pile here. I'm sure you have loads of scraps and it's just always nice to, it's nothing new. Almost I'm revisiting it because it's just so gentle and yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say hi to the people in the chat <laughs> and I'll, I'll chat. I'll keep you up with what's going on. Becky, good morning, Becky. So nice to see you. You've got both your boys off to work, I, I take it. Janice, good afternoon. I know good morning for you. Oh, Janice, I do hope you're feeling, feeling better. Mm. Linda, hi, Lynn, sorry, Lynn. Paper hoarders, um, if you're just coming in to chat, Anonymous is Lynn. Welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in. And there's Freddie looking at, oh, there he is, <laughs> knows his name. <laughs> oh, good morning, Barbara. <laughs> so nice to see you. Come on in. Mm. Oh, he's working 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Gosh, does that mean you have to be fairly quiet during the day or is he so tired that he sleeps through does that affect it affect you yes yes oh so nice to see you i'm i've got my machine i know you can't see fully because of the angle but there you go <laughs> there's dar hi dar petra good afternoon so good to see you you're doctoring yourself feeling better Oh, you have to go to work as usual today, even though you'd rather not. I can imagine. I, you must be exhausted. I know. Janice, you take care. And I, I, you've got flights of stairs to walk up when you get to work as well. Oh, there's Jean. Oh, Jean's popped in to see what the mug of the day is. <laughs> Happy Monday, Jean. Mm. Once he gets to sleep, he can sleep through anything. Sounds like that. Always was as a baby. Yes, yes. <laughs> there's Patty. Patty W. Good morning. Come on in. Oh, it's so nice to see. <laughs> Could have worldwide community here already. It's lovely. As I was just saying before you came in, I was talking to the replayers, <laughs> lovely replayers. Here's, here's um, oh, little pickles. How are you? Because I know you haven't been well. You'll be mostly lurking. Still a little quote though. Never any pressure. Focus on the one step. Mm in front of you, not the whole staircase. Thank you. Yes, gosh, lovely. How wise, how wise. Little Pickles enters the chat. You take care, yes, you're, you're a gentle listener today yes yes and you can even close your eyes and fall asleep sleep's a healer little pickles that's a wonderful quote and it's wonderful for all of us to hear gosh mm, thank you <laughs> oh good morning gail you're going to be watching on your tv this morning i know you have a busy morning on a monday and you've just got me in the background that's lovely and there's jennifer oh jennifer so nice to see you so nice to see you let me just read the quote if you're just coming in again that little pickle shared with me with us I'm so sorry. I, I, maybe I just needed that little, little pickles and I took it for myself. <laughs> Let's share it, shall we? Karen, good evening. Karen's 
already had a long day, <laughs> not quite so tiring. You had the joy of the grandchildren last week and they must have tired you out. There's Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. And Angela from Columbia. Oh, Angela Columbia. Hi, welcome, welcome. Oh, so nice to see everyone. Oh, so nice. Jennifer says, hi to all. Very sensible. There's Pam. Good afternoon. Good evening, Pam. Pam has been thrifting, as we like to, if you, as you like to say in America. And over here in England, we call it charity shops. And in Australia, they call it op shops. Amazing. <laughs> we love our... So, You've been out with your daughter, haven't you, today? Yes, yeah. Oh, lovely tea, red teapots. I used to have a red teapot, Jennifer. I, I had that, really, I had that stainless steel one now because they, they break, don't they? <laughs> if you've just come in, let me read the quote to you from Little Pickles. Mm. Focus on the one step in front of you not the whole staircase and I'm certainly going to be writing that in my journal and taking that with me throughout the week thank you mm. oh Becky is going to be concentrating on her crochet I will leave a link it down below so you're able to see Becky is it another corner to corner a scrap gown uh, or a scrap blanket, as we would say here in the... Mm, mm. Isn't it a good quote, Kimberly? Yes, thank you. Little Pickles is gently listening in the background. She's... Um, corner to corner. C and C is corner to corner. That's that's lovely. <laughs> all the... All the yeah. Mm. No, Bonnie and Clive, Bonnie and Clive snippets. I am aware of Bonnie and Clive, but I, I don't believe I watched many of their videos. Thank you, Janice, for recommending that to all of us. And I will leave a link below. Mm. When looking after your grandchildren last week, your daughter came back. Oh, she kept, yeah. She's quite poorly. Does that mean you're going back down there again, Karen? Because it's, it's hard to look after children when you're feeling. Mm. Don't look back. Thank you, Barbara. Don't look back. Don't look back. You're not going that way. Going that way. How wonderful. It's another one about stepping. The other one was about stepping. I, I, I like that. Walking and stepping. Thank you, Barbara. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. I but Kimberly. Kimberly's got a test today. Oh yes. Look away from the trolley and at snack time. Kimberly, I'm writing that down. Test tomorrow. Okay, we'll be thinking about you. We'll keep you in our hearts. We need this. We need a notebook and pencil when we're listening to streams and and chats, don't we? To write things down. Gosh, yes. I've done a big star. Can you hear that next to that, Kimberly? Yes, and lots of people wishing you well. Hi, Pam. So nice to see you. And Carol. Carol, sorry I missed you um, yesterday. And I, I was practicing some self care. It just, I felt like I just needed my own, I didn't need any more voices around me. Yeah, yesterday. But I will catch up. Yes, yes. Little being gentle and peaceful with myself. Yeah, there's Julia. Good morning, Julia. Ah, oh, Sue, good afternoon. I do trust that your mum is feeling better. 
downtime is important. Yes, yes, Carol. We need to remind ourselves, don't we? And we need to practice that. Downtime is important. I write that down as well. Because I write all these on my front page. Yes. <laughs> right, so I'm you probably missed this because I was telling everybody love hugs and positive vibes to anyone who needs them right now, says little pickles. And right back at you as well. Yes, yes. It's a patchwork envelope. I was just about to send it through the post and then I thought, well, you might like to see it. You might like to make one. I've done it on the machine. I've machine round some of them, but you can glue yours or do some faux stitching. And also when the person receives it, it's got some tissue inside, they might want to use it to cut up the journal ephemera, or they might want to make a journal cover out of it. Because I send things flat, so it costs just one stamp through the post, I sent one to something similar, smaller to Becky Waters. And it was one of these just cut up. They make lovely postcards. Mm. Oh, that was nice. You bought some of the snippets. You love blue. Is it your favourite colour? That's Beth's favourite colour. Yes, and Jen's. <laughs> You're in good company, Karen. <laughs> and Becky, so it was the pictures on the front and the address on the back. It wasn't to or from, but it obviously had a British stamp on. And then well, Becky Waters messaged me and said, oh, thank you for the lovely postcard. I said, oh, open it up because there's something inside that postcard. It's like um, it's <laughs> it's got something inside it. <laughs> oh. Right. So I what did I do? Let's pop that example one just there. I, so what I do is I open up the envelope like this. I can't show this one because it's got an address on it. I open it up and I make, because that's going to be half decorated, that one. I make out of Amazon packaging. Use that as a template and make myself a template. So it would make a great journal cover. And I get myself that pile of scraps that we've all got. I pop that on there. And I just simply sew, <laughs> or you can just simply glue. This is what I find. You can tack it down with glue if you want to. This is what I, just a little dot so you don't get too much glue in the machine. You don't want any glue in the machine. I just put a little dot of glue stick there. A stuffed postcard, genius, I know, I know. I thought it was a lovely idea, but I thought I better not promote it like on the title or anything like that because we don't want to be thought of as smuggling, do we? <laughs> oh dear, but yes, you could send that to people and when they it arrives, yes, yes. <laughs> I think it's a jolly good idea and I should be doing it again. <laughs> and it can make a postcard envelope make some nice mini journal. There's Amy, Doki Doki Forest is Amy. Amy had to leave us last week uh, um, a little earlier because her son wasn't well and we trust that he's made a recovery now. Mm. I didn't get to, to hear how Karen's, she's going back to look after her daughter or whether, how, what things are going, mm. how things are going there. If I miss you, um, come on in again and say, Janet, you missed me. I do that sometimes, don't I? <laughs> oh, put the foot down. And I know that some of you, there's little Freddy there looking out the window, some of you find it quite relaxing to listen to the machine. It's, I think it's one. So 
He's been in people's homes for 70 years, this jam. So I think it's quite a familiar sound to a lot of people. I'm going to come swinging it round, come back down and find another scrap. It's quite a big scrap. That's a lovely one because it's got a map of Britain on it. So that's a nice one. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, I know. Oh, yes. You would look after them so beautifully. Can you see that? Oh, oh, you're busy. Can we can we see? I'll have to point it to the camera because we haven't got a face down camera on you. Sorry, Flo. Oh, oh, that's lovely, Flo. That's really lovely. Oh, look, Flo's from a Father Christmas page in her journal. Oh, that's lovely. I love it. That's oh, wonderful. Was it Flo and Freddie? <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. Yes, I thought, oh, what a good idea. Let's do those as a community. And then I thought, oh, we do have to be careful. Hmm. Oh, you had a boyfriend who was in the Royal Navy and he lived in Scotland. Ah, oh. when you wrote to each other, is yeah, an airmail letter and envelopes. Yes, they're like the trifold ones. I've got some vintage ones of those, and it's very light paper, isn't it? Oh, I love those. There's a lot of this here that love vintage stationery. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember writing even about 20 years ago to my niece, Katie, when she lived abroad. Yes. I also used to send magazines to Katie and comics. Mostly, they were comics because she was a child. At when she lived abroad and all you had to do was wrap the comic in a little bit of brown paper and put the address on so you left it open. I wonder if they ever arrived. I'm sure some did because she told me, don't put a link in for um, that. That's fantastic. Yes. Mm. Jennifer, Okie Dokie Forest does have Amy does have cute things on her channel. She she loves mushrooms, so I'm very attracted to her journals because I've got I just have that little thing about making these mushroom things at the moment. Um do leave links for your channels and other people's channels. Jean loves, I can just see here, I know lots of people have channels. Jean has a lovely channel and loves the blue book. There we are. Ooh. And to meet the next patch, I'm just going to go, oh, I'm going to put a wavy line, just because I can, just because I can. And let's get another scrap. I'm not particularly looking too much at what they are. Oh, I love this. This is a very indulgent scrap. <laughs> Isn't that lovely out of a magazine? Mm. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, Barbara, weren't, weren't they? I, I'll get one out for next week. I wonder what year their letters those started because maybe that I can incorporate that in my blond blondel story I wonder what year air letters because she's writing back in 1890 isn't she although now she's found that she can time travel so it opens up yeah Thank you for popping in some links there. Janice, oh, Janice isn't feeling well. Has to knit to work. Walk up all those flights of stairs. Do the billings. And you, even still, you've got time to put links in. <laughs> you are a champion. Oh, 
I'm using a darker pen because last week the pen wasn't as dark, so it did strain my eyes a bit. Mm. Lean, I know, I know. I do drawing and it's just a little thing at the moment because I've been heavily into hearts, but at the moment I seem to be making little scrap paper mushrooms everywhere. <laughs> This is very relaxing. <laughs> oh, there's Irene. So good afternoon. So nice to see you. Yeah. Well, airplanes went flying worldwide. <laughs> Janice. Yeah, but they could have gone on. Um, steamers or, or ocean going vessels <laughs> yes because in 1890 yes there were um ships going were they transatlantic or because this book is set in 1890 and there's there's this is the book that julia gave me julia did i say good morning to you i saw you up up there and then did I not say good morning <sighs> Julia good morning dear yes this book from Julia and it just so happens that it's set in 1890 so they had ships mm. maybe a little earlier World War One did they have ships with planes sketchy ones those biplanes yeah that's so true so true so let's say those air Air letters may have gone by by ship to keep the price down, to keep them light. Chance is just applying logic here. <laughs> oh dear, oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is what I find myself doing when I'm. I, Everything I'm doing at the moment seems to be very simple and, yeah. It's just how I'm feeling. And I love that. I'm, I'm going with the flow. I like to go with the flow. There's Kelly. Kelly, so nice. So nice that you can join us. Now, I'm going to say, is this your first time in the chat? I, I know you've commented on, on, on the videos. You're going to tell me that you have been. You commented in the comments. Are you from England? I'm wondering whether you are. Welcome, welcome any, anyway. People are welcoming you into the chat there. It takes a while for me to... Um, Get things in my little head. That's why I write things down. I think a lot of us do that, don't we? Yeah, because as we write things, it helps us to remember them. Yes. <laughs> oh, lovely welcomes um, for Kelly there. That's lovely. And welcome to Cheryl. Cheryl, I loved the reindeer you did during Beth's stream. What a delightful stream that was. Let me just write that down <laughs> and I can leave a link. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, going with the flow and simple, Amy. Yes, yes. Especially at this time of year. Yes, we can feel a little overwhelmed by um, physical things that are happening and pressures and emotional pressures as well at this time of the year. Yes, yeah, overrun by our emotions. Yes, yes. So true. Oh, here we are. Kelly. No, ma'am. I've been here before. Kelly Weston from North Dakota. I'm so sorry. Kelly Weston. Sorry. You, you, you're really welcome. And is it maybe I've written that down before? I must have written it down before. See, now I'm going back through my notes. Just, well, I'll just 
I do hope I'm not offending you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, one and a half hours drive to the US border. Oh, wow. That's amazing. You're, you're, you're practically neighbours. Practically neighbours. I do like this scrunkly noise doesn't I don't think scrunkly is a, a word actually this noise is an offensive I'm just doing a little bit of patchwork and some book pages this is that lovely book pages I think you call it creamy or buttery it's almost like home handmade let's just make that a little bit smaller because it's nice when the patches are quite small yes i just like to i'm doing something for tuesday for tomorrow and while i was i'd set this up i found myself generally doing what, what i'm doing tomorrow naturally because like there's certain things nothing i'm doing is new Hmm. Scrunkly is a word. Scrunkly is a word now. I'm little pickles. I'm making it up as I go along. I know. Oh dear. You share the weather too. Oh, you've got the same weather as Barbara. Very chilly. Very chilly. It's five Fahrenheit here, so it really is not ski wear, but it's like hats gloves and scarves and where little pickles is it's up north so it's a, probably a little bit more chilly there isn't it generally generally speaking wonderful i found a way to and you can come across little bits as well you can just stick i'm just going to stick those on and I've come in and done some pencil lines around it and I think some doodling as well and I put some ink stamps on so sometimes these things are it's lovely to have a work in progress Julia there you are <laughs> oh so nice to see you <laughs> I may have ignored you a minute ago. <laughs> oh. It's going to get very cold starting tomorrow, says Kelly. So that will be the same for Barbara. Mm. Jennifer very politely says, if you, if you put mum, this is an American thing, underneath the word, it means you're being polite. Is that right? My dad in in Britain, are you our British contingency here? My dad used to say, with respect, and then he would go on to say, "You don't want to do it like that or something like that. Jennifer is he's asking me if I am boiling and cleaning my machine. Right, okay, I'll write it down. Boil and clean i know you have special oil the person gave me some oil and clean machine i shall pop the youtube video and i will do that and you have full permission to nag me on that as well jennifer thank you for caring oh it's currently seven oh a little bit the same but it feels like four yes yeah you keep us and warm if you haven't been well we say with due respect, <laughs> my dad, I always knew that. I, not a lot of people say with respect, not of our generation. I don't know about my dad's generation. So funny, so funny. Oh, the bobbin's run out. The bobbin has run out. Always, Aunt Beck says, always turn the wheel towards you, caring for my machine, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's the southern way of being polite. <laughs> I love that southern, southern America. Yeah, yes. So the 
I could fill the bobbin up if you'd like me to show you how to do that, or I could move on. It's pretty, <laughs> there's, um, it's pretty self-explanatory really. There's Linda, good morning Linda. Oh, Linda had a lovely video. Linda made, oh, and Possum Patty. Let me know if I'm missing anyone out. Made, when, remember when I made the um, slow stitch bird, birdhouse. They, they made a video and made one. It's, they, oh, I love it. I love everybody has a different take on things. I love it. <laughs> Linda's gently listening, gently listening and taking care of herself in the background. Yes, Becky, I, you're there. I know that's lovely and you're crocheting. Yes, you because you have an early start because of um, Scott as well. Yes, yes. Oh, Janet, good morning. Oh, so nice to see you, Janet. Janet Canada's here. Oh, so lovely to see you. I do hope you are well and, and recovered and nice and warm. Becky, Becky W. Becky, I'm making another one of those. Do you remember when I sent the envelope and it was um, a surprise? A post, it, you thought it was a postcard and it was a surprise inside. I'm, I've made another one and I'm starting another one here. It's just to show you how these things turn out from being a piece of junk paper to something that you can use in your junk journals. <laughs> so that's it. I can put that to one side. This will get mailed off. And I can work on this any time. Mm. Yeah, back to work, um, Becky. Back to crocheting. Good morning, Anne. I do apologise for not being at your stream at the weekend. I, I do intend to, uh, to do the replay. <laughs> oh. Let me show you how I do wind the bobbin. The reason I'm showing you this is because to start with this, do you know when you do things and they literally bring you out in a sweat when I first got the machine? I think I got it, I'd received it and then I had it reconditioned from, I had received it from my sister-in-law. It's a family, family heirloom. And I used to, I've got the little manual and just to thread it and to do the bobbin. I was reading the manual, brought me out in a in a in a hot sweat. It really did. There's there's Sandy. Good morning, Sandy. Oh you 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 took a long weekend and didn't want to go back to work. Oh, and you're up and going now, Sandy. Oh, you take care. You take care. You're in good company. Our Janice is getting ready for work there. I'm putting my glasses on and let's see if I can do it. Some, sometimes I get it wrong. So I put the bobbin on there. And then I think, I believe, because I'm not looking at the... Then you thread it through this little hole here. Maybe I won't be able to do that positively. That's it. You did it. And talking to yourself. Do you know, I was reading quotes today. And it, one of the quotes was, talk to yourself like you would talk to a loved one. Isn't that lovely? Hmm. Oh, your internet didn't want to work and you're always working. Oh, Sandy, I do hope you get a little bit of time to do some creating too. Yes. <laughs> I'm bobbing, bobbing up and down on a Monday. And then what you do is you turn this so the foot's not going up and down. And then you put this down here like this. And then you, oh, it's not going round. Hold on. 
I it, I have to hold it down, and then it look. I I gently do this because it, it, it so it's even, and I I hold it down. It's wonderful, and this is that gorgeous variegated thread that Sam gave me for Christmas. <laughs> oh, Martin, thank you. Have these snacks all round. Sandy, grab a snack. Keep your strength up. Yes. Not Kimberly, you keep your hands lovely and busy because, oh, I may as well finish that. Oh, I'm sad that this is finished. I'll save a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. Ah, oh, there we are. And that is me doing the bobbin. <laughs> Quite proud of myself. I can do that. I don't. I think the more that was making that scrappy jacket that did that. The more you do something, makes sense. <laughs> oh. Oh, somebody said they had a machine like this one. I need to go back. I can only see about six six little lines at a time. Jean can identify with that, threading the machine. Yes, yeah. Oh, and there's Nettie. I'm glad I went back. Oh, I'm glad I went back because when I was concentrating on threading my machine, oh, Beck is taking um, Bernadette out. I have missed people coming in. Let me see. I've missed lovely Penny Pudge there. Sorry, Penny. Oh, goodness me. I missed you. Good morning. So nice to see you. You get up quite early, don't you? Is that every day or is that just on Thursdays when you stream? And there's lovely Susan. Good morning, Susan. Susan H. Good morning. Sandy learned to sew on this machine. Oh, that's wonderful. I didn't sew as a child. So it's it's like a learning curve for me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Marty says, hello, newcomers. Come right in and help yourself to a snack. How lovely. We're just... I am making German ephemera, but we're just basically starting the week off together. Mm. Let's start the week as we mean to go on by looking after ourselves. And if you are getting ready for work, and I do hope that you are able to grab some time later, maybe. I'll pop that bobbin in and that's going to be all ready when I come to use this next time. That's wonderful. Gosh. There we are. <laughs> I'll pop that there. And I'm going to gently, without hurting my back, and now I need to put the chat back. I said hi to the new guy. Uh, and then, yeah, Stephanie! Oh, Stephanie, you've got a lovely new machine. <laughs> it's lovely. Enjoy using it. And I'm sure to start with, you're going to find it quite tricky. Made by Pam. Pam's got a new sewing machine as well. You've got an, an industrial sewing machine. And if you want to see somebody patient, have you left that video up? Is it, is it there? It's a wonderful video of Pam patiently teasing this new machine into working. Pam has a, a background in car mechanics, so it really did help. I was very impressed. And I was, I have been very inspired by Becky and Pam. So inspired that I, I have the confidence. This might sound really silly. Um, that hi, darling. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. So inspired that I, I meant. It sounds it's going to sound silly to you. I mended Ben's Levi jeans. Now, because before I'd always thought. 
oh, the machine. And I didn't have to go through the seams, but they were just ripped in places where it wasn't fashionable to have a rip. And they did take quite a lot of patching. So, and quite a lot of time to do these two large holes. But uh, yes, <laughs> I, yeah, I enjoy, and I enjoy doing it as well. Let me see if I turn this light off. Oh, that wasn't even, wasn't even on, wasn't even on. Uh, you can see, so that's not, it wasn't that. Now, let me, it, let me just check I'm getting it right. Colleen Warrender, when I was doing, I can't find them now, I was using the, Three ply napkins, wasn't I, to make the the the, the fabric tags? It's yours is approximately twenty four pounds, and you had to mount it on a board. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, Jennifer, Jennifer loves mach um, machines. Yeah, mm. and but well, Pam's almost a tailor. You tailor clothes, don't you? Mm. Oh, doesn't he look cosy, Stephanie? Yes, yeah, so take your take your new machine one step at a time. And if you if you have um troubles, you can ask your YouTube friends as well. That's what I do. Yeah. Mm. Montgomery Ward machine will go through denim. You fold and rehem hubby's jeans all the time. That's amazing. I would imagine I have a denim needle. I, I would imagine this gorgeous little 70 year old workhorse of a machine would do the same as well. Mm. Wasn't I know you 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 know what I mean now, little pickles, where, where that was. Mm. So so Colleen W gave me a challenge. She said, how do you use, how do I use napkin bags apart from mopping things up? And this is a little challenge. How do, how do people on replay and how do you in the chat use your, there's no pressure to use them. It is okay to recycle them put them in the recycle there's no pressure there's sis oh oh so nice to see you sis i'm gonna i know i talked to you in comments and that's amazing thank you oh, it's just so encouraging and positive is this the first time you've been to a live you're probably going to say no i've been lots of times before but I know I know that I chat to you in comments mm. oh check out YouTube oh Julia I need that because I'm I'm quite short yeah mm. so I tried some different ways and things to you for my on my napkin bags anybody else have any ideas for napkin bags? I love an upcycle challenge. Melanie and I often used to do upcycle challenges. <laughs> so I did, first of all, I did some stamping. I think that it's great to stamp on them. I did it in just the brown, the star. And then I used this really nice gold pen that Julia had lent me. It works so well. It said it was office supplies on it. I meant to make a note of where it was from, Julia. So I did that on that one. And then I used that gorgeous spray that this one, where it's a powder, and then you do the water. And that's going to be nice because it's just going to be like having a napkin. When you put it behind a book page, it's going to show up beautifully. And when it's glued, it, it, it shows up. And the little stars might be individual, but it'd be still nice to have that paper behind it. 
Oh, thanks. You're from Texas. Yes, you've been in the chat before. Oh, sis, I do apologise. Yes, yes. I know that I do enjoy chatting to you in comments. Texas, you've probably told me that before. I do apologise, sis. <laughs> and Rebecca comes from, from, Rebecca Creates comes from Texas. Texas is really big. You can fit Britain. How many times can you fit Britain? into Texas. It's quite a few, isn't it? <laughs> it's a big, big um, state, isn't it? Mm. Yes, and of course, you could stamp mushroom stamps on it, Amy. <laughs> but then I like to do a challenge and I like to take it to a, another level. And I thought, well, how could I create my own napkin? So I've started here, you can see. And I thought, and that's what I like about an experiment, because I thought, if it doesn't work, it really doesn't matter, because it's a napkin back, and you might have thrown it in the recycling tub anyway. So I'm going to get, where is my water? Hmm. Oh, that's not going to be easy to do watercolouring without... Oh, here's the water. <laughs> oh. UK is half the size of California. UK is half the size. Thank you. I love these random facts. Isn't that crazy? Oh, that's your Instagram, James. Yes. Oh, Sandy, because then I can share this with Colleen as well. You like to use gel matte medium on the magazine page and then press these on the page. It takes away the gloss. Oh, on a glossy magazine. Yes. Look a bit like adding a layer of gesso, just a thin. Oh, that's amazing. And I presume you could use the PBA like I use or the Mod Podge, yes. Yeah, to tone, I'm gonna to say to tone down it down yes thank you sandy mm. oh you've got pictures of your machines on on instagram that's amazing i get myself a little paintbrush oh i've got one out already and then i just took the paint like this this is watercolor paint this is my my oh, it's big treat to self, treat to self. My ha homemade hand, you can't even see it, can you? Handmade watercolour paint, honey based, made in the UK. It's amazing. So I'm sure one can get it in. And then I'm just very lightly. Because, oh, it's a little bit like painting on silk. It, one, two, three, four, five. I do like, oh, that was very runny, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to put some little petals. This is all I did. This is all I did. Oh, and it's very relaxing. I think it's very relaxing. Oh, South Carolina. Thank you, Vanessa, dear. So nice to see you. I loved your, your tag that you, I loved the napkin you were using with the deer. Oh, let me just see. Becky, Becky told us a fact. It's so funny. Oh, I missed it. It's so easy for me to miss things. Hmm. Where, where is it? Where did Becky say how many times? You live in South Carolina. UK is half the size, half the size of California. Yeah, absolutely. Half the size of California. It's just crazy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Karen, your country is enormous. Yes, in Australia. UK is about the same size as your state, state of Victoria. And Austra we could fit 32 UKs in Australia. Isn't that incredible? Kat, you come into 
the amazing facts of how dinky the UK is. Oh, that's because some, um, yeah, we were talking to Sis and she comes from Texas. Oh, I love that. So yeah, just gently, gently. I think it's nice to make it quite thick. I think this bit was watery. Yeah, don't be afraid to experiment. Um, and then what I did is I made it quite watery and then I flipped some as well, because that's always fun. It's fun to flick a bit of paint. All right, I'm just going to use this paint up I do, there when it's got the water on. I suppose it would just harden up though. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, love that. <laughs> so nice to see you, Kat. Happy Monday. <laughs> oh, Janet, did the happy mail arrive? Oh, I'm, I'm pleased. That's absolutely fair. Good, good. Is that the postcard? I can't remember now. Or the Christmas? I'm not sure. <laughs> and then I get one of the darker colours. We're just using, if you've just come in, Netty. <laughs> oh, how are you, Netty, dear? And if you just coming in there, just very lightly. And then I've got it on greaseproof paper. I don't know. What, some form of non-stick. Making my own napkins. <laughs> On napkin backs. And then I'm just going to flick it there just because I can. That's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and then I'm going to let that dry. I won't close it up. I'm just going to put the lid on that water because I get in, I'm getting all sorts of messes. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's what we need, isn't it, Sandy? And then I just picked any pen. I didn't, it didn't have to be anything special. It's just a felt tip pen. And then I did, if you, let me bring it up closer to the camera. And then I just started to put some outlines on it. So it's just napkin back. You can see what it's like. I shall come in later and again. Thank you to Colleen for the napkin back challenge. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad it arrived. When I post things, I usually say to the letters, Godspeed, as I put them in the lovely red letter boxes that I love so much. I think some things probably get lost and some things arrive. And then ever so gently so you're not scratching you're just really can you see oh just not hardly touching it so i'm just <laughs> doing it like that and that's some little i did some little dots as well I filled in the little dots there and and yes so you it is possible I'm sure, do you know, if I'd have looked on YouTube or Pinterest, I'm, I'm sure what I'm doing is nothing new, but I love the little challenge. It's the thinking and, oh, what can I do? And the boys, I often share like a little upcycle challenge with the boys and, and to say, oh, what do you think? What would you do if you had this or? <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Marty's doing her exercises now. Bless you. Oh, that 1980s lycra. Oh, yeah. So I've made my own napkin. <laughs> oh, there we are. Let's hope no one comes in and uses it when they're having a mince pie and just, oh, I just need to, <laughs> I've got some paper here. No, I think I need, this is lovely dictionary paper from Laurie Paint earlier. I think I need, I'm going to try just because I can, just because I can. I'm going to try gluing it on here now. 
the great experiment. <laughs> it's probably been done lots of times before. <laughs> and yes, keep it up the right way. And let's get the glue. I'm just using PVA glue, PVA school glue here is a very reasonable glue. Sam, we were queuing up and Sam, we were Christmas shopping and Sam is very, very generous soul. And he said to me, we were queuing up and he said, oh, mum, you needed new glue, didn't you? Bless them. I said, oh, yes, yes. So I went to pick up the school glue. He said, would you like Mod, mod Podge? I said, oh, because we import Mod Podge and so it's expensive. So this is like pound forty nine for a litre and Mod Podge for us is pricey because we we import it in. <laughs> so bless him. I'm just going to lay this on here gently and then so there's a little flower that hasn't gone on there but I can use that separately. And yes, and I said, oh, no, it's fine. Thank you so much, though. Mm. Oh, well, do you, oh, drive throughs Oh, that's not a thing here, really. I think they have some retro, it's, not, it's just not a thing here. Just as a novelty, they may have tried it, but but no, there's nothing here. The drive-through. That's memories. Do they still have the drive-throughs, or are they are they not so much anymore? And that's do you know that's dry already. That's what I did before. Oh, can you imagine doing a poncettia? I shall take the red and do it the other way round. And create a poncettia. I love that. Let's rip that page out. And thank you, Colleen, for the challenge. And I will be thinking of other ways to use napkin backs too. <laughs> oh, Karen, thank you. So, yeah, it looks gorgeous through the book paper. I always love putting napkins and things on book paper. Mm. Drive throughs are a way of life here in the States. Well, we went to, when we were in New York, we went to the, in Times Square, I can't think what it would be called now. I should remember, it'll be in my journal. Maybe I should show you my um, New York journal. <laughs> we went to the cinema there. And I've got a very sweet tooth. And we queued up and got the tickets. And, and um, I thought, all oh, right, we'll treat ourselves to snacks at the cinema. Because normally in Britain, I take mine in a bag. But it was holiday. And everything was savoury. It was really interesting. Salted popcorn. And, and oh, I did get the salted popcorn in the end and I did enjoy it but it was a bit of a shock <laughs> hmm. oh she does she does and her pile she she does she does keep a messy floor but of course she wants the camera to be on her table she doesn't want people to see the floor underneath her and I can understand that flow <laughs> Dear Kathy, hi, so nice to see you. Come on in, come on in. How are you and the grandchildren at the moment? Right, so let's pop that down. We can use that later. Ah, lovely. Mm, thank you, thank you. Right, right. Look at Freddie thinking, wow, well, is it? Is it time? Is it? Is it snack time? Is it snack time, Freddie? I think it is. It's just so nice to, it is, to spend this time together, to start our week together and to the replayers. It's so lovely that you're with us. <laughs> of 
Christmas munches. <laughs> the napkin. <laughs> oh. Yes, I will try a concettia. It's just, it's interesting how ideas evolve, isn't it? I certainly would never have thought to do watercolour on a napkin. So, uh, snack. <laughs> Help yourselves. We call these fairy cakes here in England. You'll notice it's not a muffin. It, with a muffin, you have what's, it's a batter. It's more like a batter. This is a sponge, sponge cake. Two eggs, we don't do cups, unfortunately. Um, four ounces, excuse me, four ounces of flour, four ounces of sugar, and four ounces of butter. And it's a lot thicker than the muffin mix. And we put it in little cup cases called um cupcake cake cases, and we call them fairy cakes. <laughs> <sighs> And me, so good to see you. Oh, you're just in time to come and sit and have. Mm. <laughs> Janet, the the board. Yes, yeah, she even came on. It's Ben and Sam's sister. She even came on holiday with us. She loved it. She sat by the window. She loves the sea, actually. <laughs> oh. oh, here's my tea. Nate is saying hi to Freddie and Jennifer is too. Oh, yes, you, you, you look away now, Kimberly. You, you, you do some busy art there. Bless you. We'll all be keeping you in our hearts tomorrow. We definitely will be. Mm. So nice to see you and me. Just in time to have a relaxing snack with us. Do you want, shall I call Freddie? Where shall I put this? Oh, big old flask there. Would you like to get down and have a snack? Can you be bothered? Sometimes he doesn't. Mm. He's snack ready. <laughs> oh, he had his paws down ready to go, did he? Oh, sorry. Oh, lovely. Lovely. These snacks are from Barbara Every, Freddie. Are they nice? They're cute little ones. You can, he loves these because you can have lots. <laughs> oh, Gail's been watching on her television. Yeah, yeah. You've got a few minutes because it is a busy morning and love to you and your dad as well. And little Elvin. Elvin's having his medication, isn't he? Yes, yes. Hmm. You've got a doctor's appointment, Linda. Linda, yes. Let me write, yeah, writing that down. We're not going to just plough into all of those. Let me just, Linda. Linda, you take care. Yes. It's my dog mug, Jean. <laughs> You'd think it would be the Christmas mug, wouldn't you? They're all in the dishwasher. <laughs> Ruth, good morning. So nice to see you. Oh, are you knitting or quilting, Ruth? <laughs> it's finished now. It's finished. Do you want to go to drink or do you want to go back and sit up from your chair now? It's finished now. Here you go. Go and sit on your chair. He's a good boy. <laughs> Bless you. Bless your little heart. Mm. Oh, you've got your injections. Oh, yes, yes. And I do it in your knee. Oh, yes. And I do hope that begins to work. And yes, yes. Take care, Janice. Take care. Have a good day. And I hope you feel a bit better. Mm. There he is. There he is. Up he gets. I'm going to pour myself out some tea and you just get yourself a nice, nice drink. So nice to see you again. There you go. We, you haven't missed much. We've been doing gentle, gentle, caring art. No pressures. No pressures here. I've noticed, I don't know why, the water was fresh, but as this paint sort of goes out there's a little blue tinge around it it's interesting anyway let's pop that back there to dry <laughs> stacy so nice to see you good afternoon you've got your snack in the background oh yes you're gently listening that's so nice that's so nice and you're probably busy 
are you are you still busy sewing on the machine? Yeah, and Becky's going back to her crocheting. I I love that. I love that. Add just a little touch of milk there. There we are. And I'm going to put this milk jug over there because we don't want to have spilt milk. I might take that tea bag out actually. I don't want it to be too strong. Yeah. There we are. I'm set up now. I'm, I'm putting this. I've got a mug rug from Lucy and a mug rug from Ruth. Ruth here in chat. I'm putting it there. When Ruth gave me the mug, she said, don't worry about using it. It's there for use, using. I thought you would be, Stacey. You're, you're listening. <laughs> Let me just show you this little cake here. Sorry? Oh. I haven't got you a cake. Sorry, Flo. I will make you a cake, definitely. Hmm. I, I apologise. Sorry, I'm just talking to Flo. It's a butterfly cake <laughs> and it's got some jam, <laughs> some cherry jam. <laughs> Janet, it's not Ruth, lamb. Oh, it's another Ruth. Thank you. We have two Ruths, don't we? Oh, lovely. I'm, I'm coming up at Ruth Edwards. Ruth Edwards, I do apologise. I was putting you, Ruth, down in a, a quilting room in Nova Scotia. And there, there you are, Ruth. Um, so, Edwards, so nice to see you. I, I'm i picturing somebody different now. Thank you for letting me know. Um, Becky. <laughs> I'm putting the cake over there because I'm not going to talk with my mouth full. I'd like to, but I just don't think it would be polite in such fine company. Freddie doesn't mind. <laughs> you love making butterfly cakes. Yes, with your little minis. I know, I know. The jam's so delicious, isn't it, as well? <laughs> oh. I yes, I was quite strict with the amount of sugar that the boys had when they were growing up. But homemade cakes, it, it, yes, they were always making cakes and licking the bowls. So maybe I didn't do that good a job. Time for a cup of tea as well with Safia. It's afternoon tea time, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yes. Um, thank you. A gentle reminder from Safia. Um. There is a hashtag on YouTube. I looked it up this morning, Safia, on YouTube and Instagram, and it's all lowercase joined together. Hashtag Care December. And I believe, because I haven't had a chance to, I've looked at the art on Instagram, the creations. And it all looks very gentle. Care December. Uh, so, and I think there's a video. I will link it. Yes, I will link it below. I'll put a link. And I, I will be watching that. And it's about, it's a, there's a daily prompts or it's all about self-care. So thank you so much for saying that, reminding me. Mm. There's a sheriff's car in front of your house across the street. Gosh, and there's Rebecca. Rebecca, good morning. Or as you like to call yourself, Becca. I don't know. I was introduced to you as Rebecca, so that's what I call you. Homemade biscuits and cakes don't count. They don't. I know. <laughs> that's what your mama said. And licking the bowl. I, yes, yeah, licking the bowl as well. Everything art is hosting care dementia, and it's all about self care for mental well being through art journaling. I'm reading what Safi has said to, to us no pressure, no, no tuition fee, just taking daily time for yourself through art. That's amazing. Thank you, Safia. And I will be, I will be looking into that and probably taking part in that this week thank you my little I, you know I have a little saying that I come into the stream with today my saying was take the time today to love yourself 
you deserve it. And I was thinking it, um, of ways that how do we show self-care and love for ourselves? And that's posing a question. And we, as well, if you've just come in, we had a, a saying from Little Pickles was focus on the one step in front of you, not the whole staircase. And from Barbara said, don't look back. You're not going that way. It's not easy to do. Hmm. Oh, Rebecca prefers Rebecca. Isn't that interesting? When I'm introduced, unless, unless you say word, is that self-care through the written word? Um, Sandy, you take care. I know you have to go to work. You take care. Mm. It's free. You sign up through her website. She's the same lady who hosts the year-long Wonderlust class. Okay. I haven't heard of, vaguely heard of that. So, okay. Thank you. I'm glad. Oh, I knew the Taiwanese. Yes, yes. If I've missed something, Becky, sorry, you're trying to crochet. And um, and now I'm, yes. Don't get on the wrong side of the fairy by not making her cake, I know. Well, little Flo, I will be making you a cake. I should make Flo a cake. I'm surprised you don't bake yourself, Flo. You're quite welcome to go through the dining hatch and um, just do your own baking. Yeah, mm, there you go. <laughs> she might well do that. Take care, Sandy. We have a story in the in my boho journal that Maria sent me, and we've been filling it ever since with the journeys of Blondelle and her governess. What was the governess's name? See my memory here. Felicity Hartfelt, who believed in the power of love. <laughs> and um, then we have Blondelle love. We have Blondelle. What was her surname? I can't remember. I know she believes in the power of the pen. <laughs> it's a lovely, beautiful, fluffy journal, isn't it? If you remember, at one time, when, when Blondell was on the boat, a little baby toucan flew over and landed on her hand. It was just so tiny and now look how grown up that toucan is even got its own home <laughs> oh. so this is my page for this week and it's inspired by my my book from Julia and this this book is set in 1890 and our lovely Blondel on her travels has gone to France to Normandy and she's gone to visit the lace makers on her travels she had heard about the lace makers there they are with their bobbins in 1890 Lace makers of now I did look up how to pronounce this. Sylvia would tell me. Corn. Lace makers of corn. Corn. It's in France. In many a lowly cottage in France, the bobbins keep threading a mazy dance. The whole day long, from morning till night, weaving the lace so pretty and light. 
how swiftly the nimble fingers twist the threads on the pillow. Not one is missed. Each bobbin would seem to rise from its place to meet the fingers that form the lace. How wondrously quick the pattern shows from the threads as under our eyes it grows. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? And there they are. And it is a little bit of a lost art, but sometimes people still do this bobbin lace. I've been to craft fairs where they're doing that. Maybe some of you have been to county fairs. There's Rhonda. So nice to see you. And Candy, come on in. Come on in and rest a while with us. Rhonda, you're getting ready for work, I, I, aren't you? Yes, yes. We're Rhonda's crafty friends. <laughs> oh. Carol does this. I haven't seen Carol do this. This is amazing. I will have to ask Carol about that. And if I'm pronouncing it right, Con is in is in France, Normandy, and it, it's a seaport town. And that will come in next week because I've got a feeling. Rondell will be taking another boat journey. Hi, Mary. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. And here's my page from this week. It's some of the lace from Normandy. I'm going to say from Normandy, so I'm not mispronouncing that poor tatty. Is it? It's probably a little bit like tatting. Mary has started doing tatting. Tatting is from one needle, and it's bobbin lace it's it's on a cushion and they have a pattern in britain in it, nottingham was a very famous place to make lace nottingham lace you can see that the lady has a pillow and these are wooden bobbins mm. Jennifer, I know it does seem a little overwhelming because it's so new to us. Yes. Hmm. But and Mary started tatting, so she's got beginners videos on tatting. Let me write that down and I will share a link. Now, Mary, I will read the chat for you so you'll you can rest your eyes as well. There's there's Carol. Bobbin Lace will be happening in Fibart Friday. Oh, fantastic. Oh, don't let me miss that, will you? Oh, fantastic. Fibart Friday. I will put a link to Carol so we will be able to see this. So it was something that's so ancient. Yes, that, an ancient craft. Ah, oh, Jennifer, no, don't you worry about There's Pom Pom. Good morning, Pom Pom. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. So nip over to if you want to see some beginners tatting as well. And I think Carol does tatting as well. Carol also does wood carving. It's lovely to have these artisan crafts. Yes. In the town next, next week. Oh, it's a little bit hard for the eyes to do the tatting. And yes, you, yes, yes. Don't want to strain your eyes. So this is the page for this week. I've got some, I'm pretending this is Normandy lace. And I've made a tag to write that part of the story down. And Blondell, as you know, is a writer. And she is, she is so inspired. That's going to stick on here. She's been so inspired lately by, by everything she's been seeing on her travels all around the world that she's been doing so much writing. I'm wondering whether one, at what some stage she will write a novel. They say there's a novel in all of us, so maybe there's a novel in Blondell. <laughs> You never know, you never know. So I'll put that in there and I shall be doing a little bit of writing just so we can remember where Blondell is. So I'll put that there and let's 
light while we're here. Let's light a candle. We were here this time last week lighting a candle for um for Mary with her eye up. Yes. No, you had a crafter lunch. Was everything okay? Were the with the were the cats okay, Candy? Hmm. I, I, I hope you were okay. Hmm. Oh, you're going to make the nightmare before Christmas. That's the Japanese crochet kit. Wow. That's amazing. Becky's been doing that. Becky made a doll. Oh, how clever. Hmm. Oh, you started a tea subscription and you're trying new ones. Oh, how, what fun. This one, it's a black tea, but it also, no sugar, has added to, to it. Oh no, this isn't terribly sophisticated. It's just got colorings added to it. It's the Yorkshire tea, which is gorgeous tea. Um, it's toast and jam tea, that's what I'm having. So I think it's got strawberry flavor <laughs> to it. Mm. You've bought it and skimmed it. Are there any YouTube videos? Because I, I, I need a YouTube video if I'm doing crochet. <laughs> oh, have a little go. It's focus on one step, the one step in front of you, not the whole staircase. Although, Jennifer, having said that, I find there's different creative things for different times in our lives. At the moment, I'm just doing everything very simple, very simple stitches on my in my crochet and gluing and yeah. So when you're ready, you will do it one step at a time. No pressure, Jennifer. Mm. You had a tatting lesson from a friend years ago, and you made a whole inch. Fascinating but tiny. Yes, yes. Mm. You could use prayer for tomorrow. You go for your mammogram and yeah, okay, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Janet and Kimberly who have appointments. Linda, who is at the doctor's now. the people we know as well you know different people to me let's just keep them in our hearts also i know lots of people are healing as well And so many people are just weary. Lighting this candle for you. And we're still going to keep people in our hearts. We've blown it out now just for safety. Mm. You need your yes, Gail. Yes. And we've written, I've written things down as well. So it's not just something that we do in passing. Mm. Yes. Mm. I know. Ruth, talking about hot mess express crashes. Oh, is that when your stuff falls down or your actual creating? Oh, my creating last week. My hot mess express in my prompts. Oh my goodness, it really was. But we saved the day. <laughs> oh, a whole playlist. Is that about the? Oh, is that about the Japanese crochet? See, I'm not even saying it. Mm. Mm. There's a link above. 
hmm, I probably missed what it's for, but you know, a play, I put the playlist in your fib, your your Facebook group too. Right, I shall look that up, Becky. So look at these, lovely, lovely, from Julia. Look at that. It's a shaker card. Isn't it wonderful? You've used, is it packaging? Isn't it wonderful? I love the jar, the jar shape. Did that come from a Daphne's diary, the shape? It's for the Nightmare Before Christmas characters. Oh, that is so, oh, do you think Jennifer saw that? I will send it to Jennifer because if you've got someone, I'm a visual learner. Thank you. Thank you, Becky. Yeah, you're back. Emerson Kane, is she okay? She's off with her cough, um, Kathy. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that. If, if, if Jen, oh, there she is. Thank you so much for the link. There we are. Don't we look after one another? Oh, that's so lovely. Can I just say, uh, I know it, it's in Britain. I must be, it's like a, has a cult following as well. I've never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. Maybe I, I should be watching that. Mm. You made and designed it to your, yourself. Amazing. You, you, you made the, oh, I am so inspired. So inspired. Isn't that gorgeous? Your own, I love mason jars. I love jars of things. Hmm. <laughs> Your cat says her whole art room was um, hit by the hot mess express. Oh dear. I'm just going back. I just didn't want to miss people. Hmm. <laughs> I bought friends tea for Katie for Christmas. <laughs> I've made her what I call a care package. <laughs> oh, yes, Janet, we certainly will. Penny, Penny, Penny from Florida and Penny Pludge. We've got two pennies in the chat. I love it. And here is, I love this. It's got, it's an ATC. Thank you, Julia. It's got, text behind it it's a napkin and then this is like gorgeous paper it's like velvet and you've done your own picture of your your very own fox called Rupert she is called Rupert mm. you've lost count of all the Beckys in the room Becky W Rebecca Aunt Bex I know <laughs> It's lovely. And I love the I love the sky. I love this napkin. And I love the amount of sky that appeals to me. I love it. Perfect. I love it. And in signing, sign language, love. I love that. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Julia. Three agencies. Thank you so much. And I've got Yes, I've got some happy mail here from, I've got some happy mail from lovely, lovely bits and pieces for me to use in my, in my art. Look at that. I've got some fabric printed on, some papers from lovely Beth. And look at this delicious, delicious packaging. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Could it make a mini journal or a tag? Sewing related. Isn't that amazing? I'm missing everything. Hot Mess Express incoming. <laughs> oh, little pickles. You're, you're ready. <laughs> oh, don't miss what you said. <laughs> oh. And this one is from Laurie Paint Girly. In one of her lives, I won this. Isn't that lovely? And it's faux stitching. Isn't that lovely? And it's an ink stamp. 
how wonderful. Isn't that amazing? There's two here and I don't feel I need two. So I think one might wing its way back. <laughs> Not to Laurie, to somebody else. Isn't that lovely? Let's put that out. Oh, how wonderful. And some ephemera. So lovely ephemera there. So thank you, Laurie. And thank you, Beth. And thank you, Julia. <laughs> oh, dear. So I'm going to pop that there. Should we pull some prompts? No, let's put some numbers in first for some happy mail. Yes, let's do happy mail. <laughs> what have I got for happy mail? Oh, I've been making 80 sequins. Sure, I'm making 80 sequins and I'm just using the bits that are in the pots in front of me and on the desk. It's the warning that comes with your channel. Welcome to the Hot Mess Express. It is good. Oh, oh yes, and we'd share your channel, um, Little Pickles. I'd love people to come and see your, your take on colouring, which is very mixed media and very shiny. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally there. There's some little ATC coins and I've got a pocket in the back. And I've gone round with the machine and it's got a little photo and I've just got a little piece of ephemera there. That's a photo die. And this one, I haven't put words, and this one says in the moment. And that's got a little pocket in it and it's got a little tag in the pocket. I need to put some words on there. Thank you, Marty, for sharing little pickles. Oh, you're putting one in for Ellie. Thank you. So I've got those to go in an envelope, but I, I've been making other things too. They're in Mo Looks After Happy Mail, as you've seen. It's, it's over there. It's all under control because... Mo is so good at organising that. <laughs> and I'm sure Laurie won't mind. I'm going to send, because I, I don't need to. I've got I've got one here. I'm going to send, 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 not because I'm not pleased, but because I don't need to. So I'm going to send that through the post. I just, do I need to go and get an envelope? I will get an envelope later. No, I'll get an envelope now. Talking to my son, can't I hear? Where are the envelopes? I've made envelopes that aren't, I've got ones that are not Christmassy. Not for simply Donna. First time catching a live. Donna, so nice to see you. Come on in, pop a number in while you're here. We're just doing a little little draw here. Will that fit in this envelope or do I need to make it bigger? There we are. I will tell Laurie that I'm doing that. As Melanie and I say, sharing is caring. <laughs> Simply Donna, so nice. Mm. But as Barbara says, we're really glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. So I shall write on that. They're just some little envelopes. I love making envelopes. These ones are quite simple, but obviously that day I was enjoying using the sprays. <laughs> oh, ooh, and put numbers in for other people as well. Between one and a hundred. <laughs> you're going, you're you're going to go live. You will be on in approximately 32. Do you mean that's your number or are you going live, Pam, dear? <laughs> right, so, or am I reading that all wrong? Donna, yes, there's always a welcome here. Always a welcome. Always a welcome. Now, let's write this and... Random number, and it's the number on or the nearest under. That's it. Pam is going live. Thank you. Pam is going live in 30 minutes, and we're, Rebecca will too. So we will leave some links. That, yes, that's super. We will leave some links. 
that's lovely. It's always lovely to have choices, isn't it? Mm. And we've always got replays as well. Mm. Welcome back, Sophia. Yes. Ah, oh, don't don't put yourself under pressure, though, um, Sophia, because mm. you're a busy mum with your young boys. Mm. Are you working on your denim jacket with your new machine? You'll love that, Jennifer. Where did this? I I I got it on Amazon, but it's a British company. So over there in the States, it'll be, I'll just do the number and then I'll explain. Let me just generate the number so we we don't lose the because um I everybody helps me. Yeah, yes, I will sis. Generate the number. It's number 72, the nearest on or under 72. Yes, I would suggest that you look for handmade paints that aren't because if things are imported, it that puts the price on. So they're they're honey based and they're metallic and they're watercolour. So it's a little treat self. So have a look in your um your Amazon, your US equivalent to Amazon and see if you can find some. So the make is C CSY Art Gallery, CSY Art Gallery. But I'm presuming if they're exported, you've got postage and what have you. Yes, yes. Penny, Penny from Florida or Penny Pudge? Penny from Florida, Penny from Florida. Have I got your address? Oh no, we're, we're still deciding. Oh, you said that's me out loud. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I remember when I get this, I, a lot of the things I do are inspired by our wonderful um, Lizzie Brewer. And she used to do the draw on, she used to call it a door prize, didn't she? And I used to love it. And when I wasn't very wild and I was in bed and I wasn't even allowed, I wasn't able to write in chat, but I I was, Ben's iPad was propped up and I was watching Lizzie and she did the prompts and, and, and it, it was lovely. And she used to do the, the draw. And I used, even though I wasn't entering it, I used to do the number. <laughs> and, and, and yeah <laughs> Jean Jean was exact oh Jean right lovely I sure oh look Anne you won't be disappointed the envelope's upside down everyone's a winner isn't it Anne there you go I'm going to put that Jean you're upside down <laughs> I'm going to put Jean there I'll send that off Lovely. I, I leave it all to you because I do get confused. <laughs> oh, there we are. I'll pop that there. That'll go out in the post. I do hope it gets there by Christmas. I think if I don't post things, it's not they're not going to get there. Ah, lovely. Right. Shall we pull some prompts? Now, let me show you last week. Oh, last week. Didn't we have an amazing, oh my goodness. I did this page. You might be able to see how it works a bit better now. And this was inspired by one of a picture in Jean's, Jean Bainey here at Books, Blue Books. And she'd done a page with a wavy line so you could see the other page underneath. And I thought, oh, that's nice. I'll do that in my prompt book. The bit I cut off, I used as a, a pocket. Now, I only finished this, sat in the kitchen with it on my lap the other day. Last week, we had lots of positive words, positive quotes, and my art could only be described as the, the, the Hot Mess Express. It had, like, is it copper and so what I did 
you could knock it back with the white napkin backs. I I smothered it because it really needed, it really wasn't working for me. And I'm not usually like that with my with my creating, but I, I covered it in white and I wrote all those amazing um positive quotes and words yes thank you Beth, Becky I'm pleased with it now thank you yes yes just so if, if you're not pleased with something I mean, it's just a piece of paper start again tear it out or or it's because I had done some printing in white but even that didn't help I covered it in white and sort of it's starting again but you can see some of the bits behind it so I'm saying that to encourage you but that was so lovely so let's pull some prompts and I've got a page from yes this was from is that, oh no I thought that was a hair there it's not I've done a little light pencil mark where that line goes so I'm going to keep my picture here so this bit is just the picture. Did I explain that well? I don't know. <laughs> it, Jean, it is such a treasure because when I went back to my last magazine prompt page, I did, I shared it, I think, on a, something. It, it, yeah, there's so many, it reminds me of everything it's not just the people in chat it's the people in comments i write it all down and it is so precious and i will share it with you look at this beautiful beautiful picture i'm not quite sure what part of the world that's in but that was from laurie paint girly a while back something you use in your coloring when in doubt Black it out. Oh, yes. When in doubt, black it out. Oh, you do. I love the backgrounds you do. Yes. Your channel is mix, um, mix media and sparkle meet colouring. Definitely. Black it out. That's another idea. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love the fact that we're here to share ideas with one another. Now, because we're chatting so much, we don't get to finish all the prompts live together. But um, there's a list and also there will be, there's, they'll be on my community tab pretty quickly after the stream and I'll put them in the comments down below as well so you can find them. Oh, Pam, dear. Um, I think, Pam, you need to refresh. You're coming in a bit late. You're not on live chat. So nice that you're still here. You've had such a busy day with your daughter. And I, um, I look forward to hearing whether whether you bought some lovely things yeah hmm. Sophia you've got to work through the uglies yes that's right yes I just took it through to the lounge I sit in in the kitchen we've got the kitchen table I take the Fred likes a chair to sit on and I take a chair to sit on and I just took my yesterday a tray with my pens and bits and pieces right let, i've shuffled let's um mm. your aim is to create a hot mess yes own it <laughs> one two three four well, that fell out i'm not looking <laughs> i'm not looking honest <laughs> five Oh, Lynn, yeah, you can't wait to get home. Oh, yes, because you, you craft along with us and when I do the videos as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, craft a lunch. <laughs> Hot mess express. <laughs> oh, I did that happen before. I must sort that out. Mm. She also used to talk about flop something, a mistake. Am I reading that right? Or is it a typo? 
as just an opportunity to go in a different direction. Oh, yeah. Just mistakes, like a happy accident. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to experiment. Yeah, that's what we say. Mm. Good morning, Teresa. Are you better? And I noticed that you had been streaming on Dana's channel last night while I was asleep. <laughs> there were four of you streaming. So that must mean you feel a bit better. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Teresa. <laughs> hmm. And Amber. Hi, Amber. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Oh, Chris, Chris is at work. Yes, yes. Flopportunity, Sophia. That's amazing. It's a, it's not a flop, it's a flopportunity. That's amazing. Flopportunity. Have you the link for the person? No pressure if you haven't, um, Sophia, dear, because I'm not quite sure who it is. And it might be somebody that, um, we all want to watch for opportunity. Isn't that amazing? It's all about taking care of ourselves <laughs> and being positive with ourselves. Right, what's the first one? Oh, orange and black border. Oh, yes. I have been enjoying in this book. I think we started with black and white making borders oh well, i can't and now or oh, maybe that was in the other oh maybe that was in the other one that was in the other one so oh wonderful so oh orange paint i think and a posca oh, i'm sure i did that in the oh i did look at that i did an orange and black border Maybe we've had that. If you don't like that one so much, maybe you would like to change the colour and do your own colour for the stripy border. I am going to change the colour and I think I'm going to make it green and blue. <laughs> I'm going to be a rebel, see? I'm going against the prompts already, or make it or make it wavy. Could do the same, or you oh yes, could make it on that wavy line. Oh, good idea. Need to make that a little bit. Uh, let me just change the colour up, but make it make the border wavy, or oh, Becky. This is oh, this is ah. Uh, I've always worked in a job where we've, where it's been teamwork, firing off ideas. So I love this, that I can be creating here and we're firing off ideas from one another. Oh, I love that. So I, I'm not, what colour did I say? I've forgotten what colour I said I'd use already. Candy cane stripes, yes, Little Pickles. Little Pickles um, is doing candy cane stripes. I'm going to come, I'm going to get some paint. Let me, I, I, I'm not able to keep the thread of what I said there. So I'm going to pick the first paints that come to hand and make a stripe. I'm going to put for other people, I'm changing this, make a stripey border and make it wavy if you want to. <laughs> I did say green and blue. There we are, Ruth. <laughs> ah, dear. Sometimes with one's memory, you just need to have a little confidence in oneself. Yes. Mm. I'm not going to tear it. No, no. I'm going to enhance it. I'm just going to make it that you can still see the landscape there. And I'm going to put a few pictures in here or words. I think I don't want to 
or I might make a pocket, Jennifer, because the reason I saw, saw this picture and I thought, it's very peaceful and gentle. Mm. Oh, I I didn't watch you stream, um, Da. Yes, yes. And the clapping hand emojis really clap. Oh, what fun that must have been. Huh, I never. Now I'm going down here with, with a, a green border and then I can come in later. I love to do, when I say later, it might be this evening or it might be next Sunday. I will come back. This is fun. Absolute fun. Making a stripy border just here. Thank you, Becky. That made it different. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> mm. Oh, there's a shortage of peppermint. Oh, do you know I was going to treat myself to some, it's not a great thing over here, candy canes, but I thought influenced by my American and Canadian friends, I thought, oh, I'd like to stir my hot chocolate with a with a candy cane this year. Lizima, Lizima's down there in sunny Florida. How are you? Come on in. Nice to see you. If I have missed you, um, give me like a little, give me a second chance to say hi. Yes, yes. And if you're gently listening in the background, welcome, welcome. So nice to, so nice that you can be here. I must wash this brush after the stream. I'm, oh, you should get around to doing that. I'm going to scrape this paint because I don't want to lose it. I love scraping paint anyway. What can I use? I've got this little round thing that I'm from a tissue box that I'm going to make. ATC coin with, so I just scrape it with that. Not quite so scrapey, but you just never know when you'll need this paint. A nice green painty paper, ready to do some printing or doodling on it. Lovely. Then when that's dry, my little wavy line, I will add. Let's put that down here. Step on this floor. Mm. You make hot chocolate covered spoons for hot coffee, hot milk, spe for special occasions. Who am I fooling? It's always an occasion. Oh, lovely. Oh, yes. It's hot chocolate weather, and especially for you. You need it to keep you warm. Mm. Oh, you don't like me doing the paint. Oh, I am so sorry. You don't like, yeah. I will. What What I'll do is I'll just do a little border and I'm going to try, I'll put, shall I put a little pocket there? Yeah, I'll put a little pocket there. Don't worry. We'll make a pocket. I've, I've got a pocket somewhere. We'll make a little pocket. Definitely. Let's find something to make a little pocket. <laughs> Oh, lovely. You've got the Christmas tree. Oh, how lovely. How lovely, Melanie. Isn't it lovely? It's always very festive, isn't it, at Melanie's house? You've got lots of decorations up and, oh, lovely. How nice. Nice to see you, actually. I'm just looking for a pocket and we'll decorate it. How about that, Jens? We'll do it all on a tab. And it can pull out. Oh, how about that? I'll do them all on here. How about that? And we'll do the prompts on here, Jennifer. But it will have that little line coming down. Hmm. Oh, if I made it blue, Jennifer, it could be like the water. Hmm. Um, let me see. There you go. 
I'm going in again, Jennifer. And let's see if that, yeah, let's see if this evolves. It's very thick. I might need to come in later. And then if I add some white to it, I love how this evolves. I think it can be, yeah, and then I'll come in with dollops when this is dry, dollops of white paint. So it, it's going to be white stripes that I'm adapting it. It's going to be like a river and we, we will, I will make it fit with, make a story with it, Jennifer. How does that sound? Mm. Oh, you're getting snow up north, are you? Oh my goodness. It's quite early for snow, isn't it, Little Pickles? Or not, maybe, up, up there, up in the north. There we are. That's the river. And you won't probably see that green as it comes through there. Nice sort of texture. I think I'm going to be going to like that. Lovely. Don't forget to wash this brush, Janet. I shall sort that paint out later. Mm. Oh, is there? Yes. Look after your neighbours. Yes, definitely. No, Jennifer, I love that. No, you you're making you're making this page evolve. Now, once it's got the white in, I think that stripe, the stripe is going to be talking more like water and flowing and peace and moving, moving forward. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Let's put that paint down there. Really, this is getting messy down here. Right, what have we got here? Let me put my glasses on, I can't read it. Oh, brown paper, brown paper. Oh, wonderful, right. Lovely. Let me get, don't let me scrape the chair because I was saving back here a huge pile evolving here. I have been left over from the, let me just, I just need to take this. I apologize because it, it's my, about my mum. Um, carry on, carry on, and I'll just. Hello, Janet speaking. Hi, Janet. Hi. Uh, it's very Yes, yeah, let me. Yes. Now, she has been a bit more thorough to give us a Thank you. 
Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come through, Freddie, dear. Ah. I apologise for leaving you there. Um, yeah. That was my... Oh, there we are. Ah. Uh, oh, my mum is... I've uh, just gone into hospital. Um, gosh, I'm sorry, I left you for so long, and and it's gosh, it's it's four o'clock. So <sighs> Flo was looking after you, I'm sure. Mm. Let me let me read the prompts out. So it was make a border. Uh, thank you, Helen, dear. I should be going, I'm going to go on a little journey. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to read the prompts out. And then they're there for us for the rest of the week then, aren't they? Let me I'm going to just turn this light out because it's very harsh. <laughs> um, scrape paint, that's for Kimberly. I always leave that in there. See, it's this little butterfly, same butterfly, always goes back. Scrape paint for, thank you. Scrape paint for Kimberly. And Kimberly, we really will be thinking of you tomorrow. Let's light a little candle for my mum. And for all those that we're keeping on our hearts. <laughs> all right there, Freddie. You're going to have another treat. You have a treat at the end, don't you? Yes. Here we are. Let's light that. And then I'll, I'll write these still in. Oh, buttons. Wonderful. Buttons. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I had the phone there. I wondered whether they would be a call. <laughs> um, oh, I like this one. Use a new or long forgotten product. Mm. Welcome, welcome back, Rebecca. <laughs> mm. We're all coming over to yours and or Pam's. We've got a choice and we've got a choice of replays too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Use a new or long forgotten product. Oh, and this one's for Rebecca. This is a Rebecca prompt. You know, I write things down that, um, oh, let me get this out. This is what Rebecca does. Where is that? That, oh. And I write things down thinking, oh, I want to do that. Use sticker back waste. So Rebecca prints on this. So that's lovely. That, what I love that's that's a Rebecca create with Rebecca prompt. So what I'm going to do is put loads of stampings on here, and I'm going to find some way to do this. <laughs> so do you want to leave some links for Rebecca in the chat? You can't see the candle. Let's put the candle there in the mountains. Um, Rebecca's channel. And there's Pam's channel. So they're both going live now and we'll be able to watch them or go to their replays. And do you want to pop a number in? And I will be going to the post office. There's a post office near tomorrow. There's a post office near my mum's. Hi, Trey. Nice to see you. Pop a number in and I'll send a little happy mail. <laughs> Just something nice and light. Hmm. There's Re that's Rebecca's channel, and then um, Pam's probably setting up. She's using her new machine, so yeah, yeah. Pop numbers in, and we'll um, pop them in for other people as well. <laughs> Freddie's gone wandering off. <laughs> Have a nice cup of tea. That's what we do in in um, Britain, isn't it? 
<laughs> oh, Sue and Mrs Pickles, we put the kettle on and have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> and there's Julia. Don't well, Julia has coffee, don't you? Mm. Oh, you're putting one in for Malaya. Oh, I was watching Malaya's video. She's doing her Christmas journal. Freddie, do you want to come here, darling, and have one of your treats? Come here. Freddie, would you like to, Freddie or Gang's going to probably going to go and stay with Ben? Oh, there's Mariah. Oh, Mariah has art in an exhibition in Israel for your you're like a resident artist and I don't know with your teaching as well strong cuppa bitter chocolate Melanie we've done that often enough haven't we absolutely absolutely a nice cup of Yorkshire tea and I've got my cake here so I should be having my cake yes definitely <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, you're going to be excited, aren't you, to go to that? Mm. Tea fixes everything. <laughs> Absolutely, a nice cup of tea. And you think that we're joking, but we're not. Mm. Oh, and there's Safia. She ran out of tea bags yesterday. <laughs> it was. Oh, dear. And we are terrible. We're terrible travellers as well, aren't we? Because we, we, um, we take our tea bags with us as well, don't we? Terrible. <laughs> Congratulations on um, having your work exhibited. That is amazing. I've left the candle there. I'm being very careful. And I just need to... We are tea fussy. Oh, we are. The wrong milk. And the, it has to be the right temperature of water as well, doesn't it? When they try and make tea with a coffee machine water, it's the wrong temperature. I know. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Right. What, what am I doing? Yes. Hmm. Right. Well, I haven't done the comments one. I think that I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> Your coffee fussy. And me understands. <laughs> Isn't it lovely that we could be together? This is lovely. So lovely. <laughs> mm. Warm drinks. Yeah, they're comforting, aren't they, Becky? All right. Um, I'm going to generate a number. I can't even see where. Look, get your glasses on. I can't even see the bit press. Oh, generate. 18. Who had on or nearest under to 18? Kelly, did you miss prompt three? Let's see. I'm going to write them. Don't, never fear though. Have I got them in order now? I have got, make a stripy border. Brown paper. Scrape paint, buttons, buttons. Use a new or long forgotten product. Wow, going to have to go rummaging. And use sticker back waste. Use it how you want to. I'm going to stamp on mine like Rebecca does. <laughs> You're going to go and chat with Pam. Yes, you take care. Go, we're going over to Pam's or Rebecca's, definitely. You you don't drink tea or coffee, but you're in quite a warm climate, um, Miriam. Yes, yes. <laughs> mm. Is it Calico Kate? Um, I'm going to send it to your Florida address, Calico, um, Kathy, because I'm I'm not sure how long things are going to take up at Florida. Thank you. You still could not hear them. Don't worry, I shall, I shall say them out again. Worry not, worry not. I'll write them up in a minute. A stripy border, Teresa. Thank you. Hmm. Tea warms the soul, it certainly does. It does. Um, Brown paper, scrape paint. 
I will message you them, Teresa. Buttons use a new or long forgotten product and use sticker back waste. I'll write them down for you. I'll send you a message, Teresa. Yeah, because some it's hard for you to write them down and you're not seeing properly. And yeah, take care, Chris. Take care. And I'm going. I'm going too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to blow the candle out so I'm not in leaving you in any danger. I'm just going to pull a number from the comments, actually. Oh, glasses on again. Um, I am so grateful for all the comments. Number 14, let me just ring that round. It's Carol from the Magical Touch Studio. <laughs> I'll pop that down because not everybody can come to the chat. So thank you. Oh, I'm missing everybody saying goodbye. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Kelly. Bye-bye, Barbara. And bye-bye, Amy. Thank you. Mm. Oh, you've written the... Oh, stripy border, brown paper, buttons, use new product, stick back, or oh, a product you haven't used for a while, waste scrap. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it, but not in the proper order. It's wonderful. <laughs> Amber, take care. And Kathy, you take care. Thank you. And Becky W, take care. And see you over at Rebecca or Pam's. Yes, yes. Mm. Take care, Carol. Yes. Oh, an absolute pleasure, Carol. Absolute pleasure. Yes, yes. Take care. Mm. You got them, Teresa. Good. And you woke up with your left ear is ringing. Oh, yeah. You, because you've not been well over the weekend, and then you had a busy evening. You take good care, Teresa. Yeah, yeah. I know it's hard. Yeah. Hi, Dar. Nice to see you. Hmm. Take care. Um, Cray, Kimberly. Got it written down, thinking about you tomorrow. And Gail, yes, yes. Yeah. Bye, Chris. Bye, Jennifer. Thank you. And Kelly. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Bye, Ruth. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Hmm. Bye, Miriam. Congratulations on your art. You create stencils now and you've got an art exhibition. Wonderful, wonderful. Happy Monday, Kat. Take care. Take care. Have a creative week. Mm. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. So kind of you. Pom pom. Bye. Pam pom says, have a good day to everyone. That's lovely. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Thank you. Mm. Please send to Anne there. Oh, I will. Okay. And there, I will. Your partner, your creative partner. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, that you stream together. Uh, oh, thank you, Anne. Yes. And you take care as well, Anne. Mm. So nice to see you. <laughs> oh, well, I better hang the phone up. I'm going to have my snack. I've got my fairy cake here. <laughs> oh. mm. Right, I will hang the phone up. Oh, didn't blow the candle out. There we are. <laughs> Thank you. Ruth says, uh, a safe and creative week. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a lovely thing to say to everybody. And on that note, we will leave it. Take the time today to love yourself. You deserve it. Focus on the one step in front of you, not the whole staircase. Don't look back. You're not going that way. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you for all those quotes today. Bye, Melanie. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Bye, Amber. I'm going to put the phone down. No, you put the phone down. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>